Hi, welcome to automation testing dot in. In this video, we are going to see steps to connect to the database that is MySQL database. In our previous videos, we have seen that how to download and install MySQL in Windows machine and Mac machine. At the same time, we have seen that how to create tables and columns, all these things. So in this video, we will see how to connect to the database from uh, Java for our Selenium. So steps to connect to the database are these are the five important steps that uh, can be used to connect to the database. The first one is register the driver class and then creating a connection and then creating a statement then executing the queries and last we need to close the connection and we will see all these steps step by step that what exactly these will these things will do and the register the driver class means uh, we have one of the methods called for name the for name method of class class you can find here that class dot for name class is a class in that for name is a method it is used to register the driver class this method is used to dynamically load the driver class so the for name method is used to uh, register the driver class for that the syntax is class dot for name and you have to provide the driver of that particular uh, server means the database mysql database and this will differ sorry uh, this will differ from database to the database okay my com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbase dot driver is for mysql if you are using some other database and this information will be different okay this way you can register the uh, driver and then create a connection we have one of the methods called get connection method of driver manager class is you to establish connection with the database okay get connection is a method available in driver manager class so the syntax is uh, connection c1 object equal to driver manager dot get connection here you need to pass what is the url of your database means uh, here mysql database is the local host and that this is the default port for mysql as we have seen while uh, connecting the database in the previous videos and the database name in the same way you need to provide the username and password of that particular database okay uh, this way you can create the I means get the connection of, uh, a method to create the connection okay then creating a statement and here we'll use create statement method of connection interface is used to create statement the object uh, of statement is responsible to execute queries with the database means uh, the connection is an interface so statement stmt means the object is equal to connection dot create statement this is the syntax uh, this line will create the um, statement okay by using this line will create a statement then we need to execute the query uh, we have one of the methods called execute query method of statement interface is used to execute queries to the database when this method returns the object of result set that can be used to get the uh, all records of a table means uh, result set is also one of the interfaces result set rs is equal to statement stmt dot execute query then you can pass the actual database query select star from the table and the result of this one is result set okay then how you can get the data from the result set uh, uh, we have one of the uh, methods called rs dot next means if you have uh, the next row available in the result set then you can get the data from the result set using get string method rs dot get string of particular column from the database okay password date created username number of attempts these are all the column names in the particular table okay this way you can execute the query and the last is closing the connection by closing the connection object statement and result set will be closed automatically the close method of connection interface is used to close the connection so whenever you establish a connection 
to the database it is mandatory and important to close the connection uh, the important I means a notable thing here is um, there might be a chance that they'll uh, in real time the administrators will restrict to a particular number of connection to the database I mean they'll allow only limited number of connections to the database so when you create a connection when you establish a connection please remember that to close the connection other otherwise uh, it will there will be a open connection to the database if somebody is uh, trying to connect to the database they might not able to connect to the database okay uh, it is a best practice to close the connection when you make a uh, connection to the database okay on uh, this way you can uh, connect the database by using these five steps okay uh, that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please subscribe to youtube channel for further updates and please like us on facebook page